That was a good one. There he is. Oh my god, it's a big one. Yes, you know. No way. I got her. Oh my god. Flipped right there, guys. I'm giving it some good little pop. Monster. He's a mongoose, though. So. There's boils on underneath here. I can't tell if it's from turtles or what. Oh my god. Wait. Today we're going to be fishing with some big jigs for some big bass. This is actually a half ounce strike king black and blue jig with a little rage chunk on the back of it if you guys want to check out any of the baits that i use the link will be in the description box and i'll pop the code up on the screen I have this paired up on my kicking their bass tv x lose combo if you guys want to check these out they're only available on my website kickingtheirbass.com. i'll have the link in the description box down below i actually have this on 20 pound test and we're going to go ahead and get it started guys let's see if we can catch the winds whipping a good bit today i actually haven't been to this pond in a very long time so we're gonna get after it and see what we can do if they're not biting here we're gonna move to some different ponds but let's go ahead and get after it we're gonna see if there's any fish in these little pilings under this bridge i haven't caught a ton on this but i will say a lot of those fish just stack up on the edge of these little pilings also getting the shade right here I've caught a few good ones here. Missed a couple really big ones previously. But I don't know. I'm going to see. I know there's at least one fish under there. There's got to be. This water is so stained too. Good thing I tied on this black and blue jig. You know, when you're fishing dirtier water, you're going to want more of a black, black and blue, black and red type jig. It'd be a lot better in that dirty water. If you're fishing clear water, I would go with like a green pumpkin. Maybe like a watermelon red or some sort of a green pumpkin color with some chartreuse action. That's usually what I'll go with in some of the cleaner water. But for today, it's like that black and blue. Any of your darker colors would be your best bet. Oh, dude, that bite was insane. And I promise you that fish was on bed yes sir i didn't catch it guys but that's exactly what i wanted to see that bite was insane that was not a small fish i promise you i was up on his bed he hammered it three different times and took it to the right this is where it gets <laughs> sneaky 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 i want to be careful with some slippery little sneaky snakes too we need to be careful with that today See, this is, this is weird, right? Like, you, you literally have a little opening. We're going to flip them up here on the edge of the grass and figure out what these fish are doing. We're just going to go flip this stuff, guys. Until something, until, boom, we get something. But I believe these fish are on bed. I really do. With how that fish ate it, it's too similar to how a bad fish would eat it. One, he didn't hold on to it. Two, he grabbed it and he took it to the right about three or four foot. That, that kind of is a telling sign to me, hey, that fish was on bed. He saw this little jig right here eating down on his bed and he didn't like that. I want to say I just saw a dang snake, but I'm going to act like I didn't. I think this is where that fish blew up a second ago. that one look at that for the first fish of today baby i thought there was one on bed right there i can knew it no teeth no uh hook marks on that bass he hasn't been caught that is a pretty three pounder Let's start off the video guys look at that beautiful bass right there wow what a good chunky dude 
That is a nice fish. Right there on the Strike King jig. Nice close to three pounder right there. Let him go. Wow. <laughs> what a catch right there, guys. Wow. We were just walking over here. I said, I got a good feeling about this. And then we just, boom, we get one of them. He ate it just like a good one too. He he did a perfect job how he, with eating that thing. Sometimes those big ones on a jig, they'll thump that thing once or twice, thump, thump, and they'll just be walking off with it. And that's exactly what happened. So when I first walked up, on the spot right here i was standing here and i kept seeing something flicker i'm like what's flickering and i was like it might be some fry right there so i threw like three casts right in that same spot didn't get a bite but i noticed i was also coming across something which was there was a little twig a little tree sitting there and sure enough by my fourth cast he finally pulled and ate it i i drug right over that branch the moment i got off that branch i felt thump and he started running to the right Oh my gosh, dude, no way. Another good one. That's like a high two pounder, like two and a half pounder. <laughs> Look at how they're eating this jig, bro. They're slamming it. They're slamming it in the same spot, guys. I'm standing, I'm literally standing in the same spot and I was like, you know, why not start flipping on this edge? I flipped one time right there, flipped on that other one and boom. Two flips after that other fish. Look at that Strike King jig hanging out of his mouth. Perfect hook set. Wow. Let's go, baby. That was a good bite. <laughs> Solid two and a half pounder. Man, you gotta love it, guys. You gotta love it. We're making it happen today. We haven't been fishing too long. But we got two nice bass. There he goes. Thank you, baby. I literally flipped right there, guys. Right there. And I'm I'm actually hopping this thing pretty aggressively. Like I'm, I'm giving it some good little pop. Monster. Monster. Oh my God. Dude, she was going crazy, bro. Backlash my reel a little bit from that somehow. I mean, I, I don't know what I did wrong there other than I am in a weird position. I try to keep as much pressure as possible on that girl. It's just literally, I, one, I was demonstrating something for y'all. I wasn't expecting to get another bite in that same spot. And that, of course, it was the female that I just lost. That fish was every bit of six plus. I don't know if you got solar when she jumped, but that was a monster. That, no doubt that was a monster. I mean, I just can't believe she bit it second flip. I'm, I'm glad these fish are positioned the way they are because we're going to spend some time doing this. You know, it's it's unfortunate that we lost that fish. And sometimes, that you know, that happens, guys. That's, that's a part of fishing. And as mad as that can make me right now, I still have to understand that it happens. You know, uh, I think I could have had a little bit better pressure on that fish. So part of the blame's on me. Um, and thirdly, you know, we're just in a weird spot, man. We're, we're in a weird spot. Don't get me wrong, that's so unfortunate. The fact that the fish was that big and, you know, the sad part about it is that fish is not gonna bite again. If she did, it would probably be days from now, which I don't think I'm gonna even be in town anyways to come back for. Pretty heartbreaking, I know. Um, going on three pounder mm. what is going on dude okay what is going on i mean guys what what is happening wow I mean, this is crazy man 
What a day of big jig fishing. It's been such a long time since I've gone big jig fishing and we're just catching some really good fish right now. I'm more confused. So there's not another hook mark in that mouth, which that one I hooked previously was way bigger than that. But I'm having a hard time understanding what's happened because so, all right, let's, let's go back a little bit. When you're bed fishing, there's two bass on bed, okay? Well, I made a flip. I caught a two pounder. I made another flip, missed a six plus, made another flip, caught a three pounder. What is going on here? I, I don't know. I, I do not understand what is happening, but I like it. I don't like that I lost a six pounder, but I like it. When I was coming out of this pond today, I was like, yeah, I might get on a few fish. Like maybe one or two bites. Man, I did not expect this. This pond don't produce that much. I guess today it is. We gotta hunker down. And I don't know what's going on with that spot right there, but there was three freaking good fish. Maybe we can come back later and she'll bite. I don't know. Usually once you stick a fish like that, she ain't biting again. But with how that just happened, I guess you never know. There's boils all underneath here. I can't tell if it's from turtles or what. Oh my God. Wait. Oh my God. Oh my God. I just broke it off. I just broke it off and got it back. How can this video get any crazier? By the way, I don't know what you guys are doing, but if you haven't already, hit the like button on this video. If you're enjoying it this far in, I'm having a great time. I hope you guys are having a great time watching it. This has been a very eventful day so far, and I feel like we've only been out here for about an hour. So, yeah, it's very interesting how today's going about, but I'm not complaining. I'm enjoying every second of it. We've caught some good fish. We've lost some good fish. We just had probably the weirdest moment I've ever captured on film. I've never hook set a fish and broke off and then happened to see my jig sitting on the bank. Very confused by that, but we're just gonna go with it and uh, be happy about it because I believe this is my only jig, guys. I would have been upset. Let's just say I would have been very upset. Tying this on with a uni knot. I don't know if you guys saw it too. It didn't break my knot. It broke about half an inch above my knot. And there was a fish on that. We fished this br bridge at the beginning, but we know what we're doing now. You understand how hard I have to pop this jig and this fish gets so mad, guys. It gets so angry. I want you to pay attention to what I'm doing here. They they don't, I'm, I'm aggressive with it. I'm, they get so angry with me. Like I'm pitching it up there. I'm going pop, pop, pop. Then all of a sudden you thump. Then he hooks it. All right, boys and girls, the thing we got to do we got to backtrack real quick before we continue going forward because these fish are on freaking bed they own like donkey Kong. they gotta be what, what i just witnessed is some crazy stuff and secondly i'm glad i'm throwing this jig i'm in the tightest tightest of spots too guys i mean this is not an easy task This is so, so interesting. I just know there's more guys. I, I know there's more on this grass edge. We still have a lot of water to cover too. I, I can't imagine what we're gonna get into today. Dude. Mamma mia. Give me, Give me more to life than getting stuck in a tree, you know? This is the biggest mess. All right. All right. I think we got to retop. <laughs> I stepped in the most disgusting fire ant hole I've ever seen. That is way too many fire ants. Those are big ones, too. I did not mean to mess y'all up, guys. Not the plan. I did not expect old bass to mess me up. 
that was a freaking big one guys another big one that's happened to that that was all my fault you know unless i want to sit here and blame it on the dang trees and grass but i put myself in that position anyways i did i don't think i stuck them that well though like i really don't think i had that fish good i had to do like a left side hook set which is really awkward for me and two my pole went up and like hit that tree i was in the tightest of spots like that that was really weird we might be able to flip back in there and catch that one i know that there's some more bass on the other side of that grass patch i'm just glad we figured out exactly what these fish are wanting like this is just crazy to me i mean they're loaded they're loaded on this we just gotta keep it going guys let's let's keep it let's put our heads down do what we do best stay positive yeah we lost some fish but it's all right you know we're gonna catch some more and we're gonna catch some even bigger than what we lost so should be one right there guys oh my goodness oh you're not that big he's a mongoose so. oh dude wow oh my gosh i'll take a five pounder all day look at that now that's a giant man oh my goodness what a fish get him out of that sun that's a freaking monster guys and you see how i'm working this thing the cod barely had her in the corner of the mouth wow that little tip that i'm doing guys with the jig something not many people do not many people know about and that right there is how we're catching these big ones i haven't done that in a minute let's get this big girl back in the water She looked so big, <laughs> but I'll take her, man. That's a freaking giant. Gosh, that's so sweet. And just how I was working that bait, just to see that's crazy. I'm lucky I got that fish, guys. She stole my last, uh, I know it's still on there, the other pincher. But I guess it's a great little time to talk about it. You know, I caught her right on this little point right here, right there. What I'm doing is the jig hits the bottom and I'm just boom 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 and then all of a sudden you'll pop up one time and you'll feel the pull back down and you need to go right up that time i didn't go right up i kind of sat there and felt it because i didn't know what i was really feeling there but you'll feel the bass just load right up on it so what's happening when i pop that jig it goes boom, and then it falls now pop it again boom it falls now pop it again boom and it falls this is a half ounce jig. I'm fishing about two to three foot of water, very shallow, so I can get away with this half ounce. You know, I've done this a lot ledge fishing, Pickwick Lake, Kentucky Lake. I had a bunch of tournaments up there, uh, college fishing, high school fishing, um, all of the above out there on those lakes. And I'll tell you, one of the best ways to fish out there, one of my favorite ways is to throw a big one ounce jig and you work it very similar on those ledges and uh you know we're doing it today for some very shallow water spawning bass um which i don't tend to do often but i saw this jig in my car and i was like you know what i think today's the day that we whip it out and make it happen and uh that is exactly what we're doing today guys and you guys are witnessing it with this crazy technique that you probably don't see many people do and it's very aggressive and you know these big fish are firing off you know these might be fish that I'd normally sit here and fish for it for 30 minutes, but I'm not having to. You know, I'm getting an instant reaction out of these bass. They're getting so mad about this jig being worked past them super aggressive and they're just crushing. So let's keep on going guys and uh, see if we can hook some more. Dude, is that a turtle or a fish? I looked away for two seconds.
Oh my gosh. I guess it was a fish. Wow. That was cool. That's the male. Can we get the female? Smoke that jig though. That's our smallest one today. All right, baby. Grow and get bigger for me. Oh my gosh, he was all up in that grass. I didn't think he pulled back on me. Oh my gosh. Oh, I'm so mad right now. Wait. Dude, the way that that fish is eating it, I've never in my life. It's, I think there's another fish there, guys. <laughs> Look at that, though. Wow. I yeah, love it. Thank you, baby. I've never seen fish eat this thing so dang weird when they're on bed like that. Just get all types of weird. He ate it through that grass. I don't know if it was him or a different one. That was so odd. Then when I hooked it, I just totally like, I might have had him for a second. I don't think my hook got in him. I think he just had it in his mouth. I like pulled all that grass off. It did create like a little point. Um, all of a sudden I threw back in there and just kept thump, 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 thump. So weird. There he is. Oh my God, it's a big one. Yes, you know. Stay on, baby. Stay on. About a three pounder. Thought it looked about four when it jumped. Oh yeah. Gosh, she ate it good too. Mm. Gosh, she ate it all the way in the back of her throat. Look at that, that quick. I, I hooked that right away too. That's a nice fish. It's like a three and a half pounder right there, baby. I couldn't tell you if this is the same baby that was biting. Bite me a second ago, it could be. There's some good fish in here, guys. Just good, solid, healthy bass. Like, man, like you're catching an average of a three pounder. You're, you're having a pretty good day. No way. I got her. Oh my God. Please stay pinned. This is a huge one, guys. This might be the big one. No way I had her. That was the big one, dude. I weighed twice today. Oh my God. She stole my worm too. That boil, you can't make that up. That's a boil that you see in your dreams, man. Oh my goodness. I had her, dude. I freaking had her.